feel like back in the 60s, back in the 50s, back in the 60s, we had these large institutions that demanded that young people could not have their voices heard. Now we have a revolution. This is 1970, and if we can send someone to war, we can let them vote. We have a right to make decisions in this country. Look what this looks like. Pot is still legal in this country. Look what the people want. We should lower the voting age to 18 years old so everyone can get their voice heard. You can fire a gun, you can smoke a joint, and you can vote. for another three years. We need to lower it down. So the event you just witnessed was a reenactment based on real life events that happened more than 40 years ago. Hello and good evening. My name is Dr. Cornelius Hubert with the American Mundane Society. On tonight's episode of Obscure Moments in History, we will be examining the lives of two young people. They were faced with harsh circumstances, fears, and decisions they never thought they would have to face. The story I'm about to tell you is based on real life events. In order to do these events justice, we enlisted real people with no prior acting experience or professional training. And now, without further ado, I present the summer of 1970. Jacob! Jacob. It was so great today! Uh, there was this huge protest! Jacob? Didn't you hear the news? The lottery? Our birthday was picked. No. I... I was out all day. What? I got the letter, too. If I were a boy, this would be me, too. This isn't fair! We're sent to war and we can't do anything about it. There's no we. You're not going to war. But I can do something about it. There's nothing you can do. But I have to do something. They want this. There you are. That's all I have. I have to do this. This is for my brother. It's Jacob! I thought you were sleeping. Yes, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Who the hell were those guys? What are you doing bringing people into our parents' house? Jacob, keep it down. I'm doing this for you. Doing what? Like buying drugs? No, Jacob, no! I'm trying to score an ID, a fake ID, so I can get you out of this war. What, you're breaking the law now? One vote doesn't count, you're just so naive. I'm doing the best I can. I'm gonna lose you in a couple weeks. We've now met our two establishing characters, Bethany, the young girl of 18 who's determined to make a difference, and Jacob, her brother, devastated and fated to go to war. Now let's return to the story. Jacob, come check out what I'm making for you. You can keep it with you while you're over there. It's just small enough. It's just got like a few pictures in it to remind you of home, bring you back, you know. That kind of thing. Jacob, what are you doing? Dude! I might as well just do it now. They're just gonna butcher it. Look at you taking charge for your... Now you see, that actor was dedicated enough to chop off his own hair for the role. This is the highest of authenticity. Thanks for making me that, Beth, but... I really just need to be alone right now. Every time I try to help. Now is the pivotal moment for Bethany's character. She's about to embark on a terrible event 
giving money in exchange for a pathetic piece of legislation that she does not even plan to use on booze. I appear here in this scene as the shady character, the man with the plan, the snipe guy with the criminal eye. Yeah, 50 bucks. Hey, Beth, I gotta go. Bethany? into the 93.9 on this summer Monday, coming into the three o'clock hour here on the Central Coast. And now, a report from Vietnam with the names of the fallen soldiers from this last week. To the friends and families of these soldiers, this too shall pass. Justin Davis, age 20. Martin Walker, age 25. Jacob Johnson, age 18. Nathan McKinnon, age 18. And this concludes tonight's episode. We are left here now to contemplate the meaning of this obscure moment in history. So what is the meaning? The brother gets murdered, the sister spends all that money for no reason, just to realize that the law has already been changed in her favor. Well folks, the meaning is this. There is a reason why the story is obscure. The naivete of both characters made them blind to what is really important in life. It is not the war and obtaining the right to vote. It is the importance of relationships, keeping them closest in your life, not neglecting your friends and family. The sister and brother here lost sight of what was really important. And on that note, I take my leave. Good night and farewell. Yeah.